It's August 29th in Spring City, Tennessee. We're at our home base and I'm creating this video to help anyone who is facing potential damage of their RV from the hurricane which is about to hit the uh, Big Bend area of Florida, go on through Georgia and up through uh, South Carolina. Of course, if you have the opportunity to get your RV out of harm's way, that's the best thing to do. If you have comprehensive insurance, that will help you with your storm damage. And I'm going to describe for you what just happened to us and how the insurance company has dealt with us on our comprehensive. On August 7th at 1.15 in the afternoon, a uh, either a tornado or straight line winds came through here and knocked an ancient silver maple down and it fell on our RV. Here's some shots of it. And I attempted with a uh, futile, so, so to speak, with a chainsaw to try to rescue and get the weight off of the RV. And it became apparent to me early on that this was uh, much too big a task for just myself. <laughs> a tree company to come and get the tree off and it was $2,500 later and no homeowner's insurance doesn't cover that. That comes right out of the pocket. So I contacted my insurance company nationwide and they sent an adjuster out and appearance wise it didn't look like it was uh, damaged too badly but upon inspection of the roof, the roof had been compromised, the solar panels smashed, uh, significant scratches to the sheet metal, damage to the sheet metal, damage to the fiberglass, Ultimately, they ended up totaling it. Uh, much to our dismay, we've only had it for three months, and we're waiting today for the wrecking company to come get it. It's going to auction. Now, what will happen with your comprehensive insurance, they will evaluate it uh, from a company called CCC. They have an extensive database of market trends. They take into account, into account your geography, and they'll give an evaluation. Based upon that evaluation, that determines what your RV is worth. Now they will pay off whatever is owed on your RV and send you the difference, if any. If there isn't any difference and the RV is less than what you owe, hopefully you have gap insurance which will take care of the, the difference. But that's what you should expect. Now, if the valuation is lower than you think it should be, you have the opportunity to appeal it. However, be aware that the insurance company is probably going to stand their ground and that's what to expect. So good luck with anybody that's facing the hurricane. And uh, sadly, we'll be saying goodbye to this one, but we've got another one coming next week.